Now again, if you ever have a fight involving your dog, why don't you get a little closer to me so the people can see. And let's say Kurgan is locked on to another dog. You slide your hand up underneath the collar like this. You lift the dog's front legs off the ground and at the same time you twist this collar high up under the neck here. And I'm not going to do it to him hard because again, it, it'll make him pass out if I do. You lift up and you twist and you hold them up off the ground. The dog, it creates a blood choke. You often see it in like the UFC or wrestling, you know, when people put somebody in the sleeper hold. You're not cutting off the uh, air supply. What you're doing is you're cutting off the carotid arteries and restricting the flow of blood to the brain. And it just takes a matter of seconds before uh, the dog passes out. Again, it's much safer than trying to stick a brake stick in the dog's mouth or kicking or punching the dog and having the dog turn on you.